God has set before you this day his laws of life and good and death and evil. Those who will not live by the law shall die by the law. Multitudes claiming to be believers in Yahushua and Yahweh are breaking the two tablets of stone once again as Moses did, but this time in another way. For the rebellious children break my heart when they break my commandments and say keeping the Sabbath holy is no longer important. The tablets of stone are the stony, cold hearts far from me, indifferent to my commandments. Spiritual leaders are rewriting my commandments that I gave Moses, mocking them, breaking them as they chose playing God as to what was written and what their idea behind the meaning of my commandments are. What is a commandment? It is just that, a command, a law, orders decreed from heaven from Yahweh. The same commands on earth are followed in heaven. Soldiers take orders from the commander-in-chief, yet my soldiers question me when I give commandments. Your spiritual leaders who have not taught you this must repent. Turn away from this evil of doing things man's way with man-made doctrines. Again, I say, my ways are higher than your ways. Flee from any spiritual leaders refusing to teach my holy word without compromising. Again, I say, flee. It is far better to learn the truth from this handmaiden than die in that lie. Practice now to keep my Sabbath day holy. The hard times are approaching and you will be held accountable for what you know now. You no longer have any excuses. Once again, you who are my true babies and bride will never have any other gods before me. My bride will honor me by keeping my Sabbaths holy. Say not which Sabbath day, for I plainly told you it is not Sunday. My elect have known it all along. Every day you are to worship and acknowledge me. But on the Sabbath day, Friday sunset to Saturday sunset, you are to rest. Learn of me, for I jealously want you on that day to only be mine. On the day I call my Sabbath, these spiritual leaders that are apostles and prophets and teachers and preachers and evangelists that say it does not matter which day is called a Sabbath, teach my people a lie. Those that say Yahushua is a Sabbath but in the next breath condemn themselves by saying every day we are to worship Yahweh and Yahushua. This is true. Ah, but listen, for the next word to test the spirit that speaks to those professing to know me and yet do not know me, now is their chance to repent and teach the truth, for they say any day can be the Sabbath. I say unto you now, Satan has stolen my day of worship and rest and substituted a day for convenience of mankind. A day man decreed and now again writes orders to worship and rest on what is now called Sunday. But I decree, and my chosen and elect know the day of rest. It is not meant to be a convenience to mankind, but a blessing to mankind. And I, Yahweh, it is now a day that you just fit into your busy work and play schedule. No, it is not a day that you just fit into your busy work and play schedule. They have even changed the beginning and ending of the week to suit their schedule. For even those who don't accept my son Yahushua as their Messiah, accept and honor my Sabbath day as rest and keep it holy. And they have more favor in my eyes than you who call yourself mine, and yet accept my son as Messiah, but dare to rewrite my commandments. Hear me, fear me, believe me. Vengeance is mine, saith Yahweh. You who are under the spiritual leadership that refuse to teach my word without omitting a jot or a tittle, beware. Flee from those churches. From this day forward, you will be sowing seed in the shallow, hard ground. My Ruach HaKodesh will be taken from these places. What you did in ignorance, I will forgive. I will forgive your spiritual leaders if you will repent and teach what is right. When I had finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, I gave him the two tablets of stone inscribed by my finger, the laws of Yahweh. Yet why? 
have so many believe the lie that Yahushua canceled the Ten Commandments. Many teach breaking the Ten Commandments is no longer sin. After all, Yahushua paid the price, they say. These evil spiritual leaders twist my word, teach my people keeping the Ten Commandments is impossible. Don't forget that I put my Ruach HaKodesh within you. That provides a way of escape with every temptation that besets you. Other evil teachers say to break the least of the commandments is not sin. They forget that breaking one is to break all. Man, number the commandments one to ten. I say, why do you say you love me and not obey me? Would I give you commandments that are impossible to keep? Keep my commandments. Put them into practice. Stray neither to the right nor to the left. For truly love your Creator and your Messiah. Yahushua is the essence of the law. Please visit AmightyWind.com and AlmightyWind.com and study the prophetic words that were given by God to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah.